Hello everyone. Today I'll be explaining you in brief about Canyas detection algorithm, uh, which is one of the most popular edge detection algorithm out. So let's get started. So Canyas detection is basically defined by three parameters. The first is the sigma, which is associated with the Gaussian smoothing. So next, it's next. There are two other parameters called as tau high and tau low so these are the thresholding parameters so we'll get into details of them shortly so basically the first uh, uh, let's go to the steps of canyas detection algorithm now so basically the first step is like uh, smoothing of the image so smoothing is carried out by using a gaussian filter so why is smoothing important why is smoothing required smoothing is required because your image at times can have noise in them so you have to remove the noise as much as possible because noise there are chances that the noise can be considered as edges so we remove that using gaussian filter here so and this gaussian filter is associated with the parameter sigma that is that defines the standard deviation so you can set your sigma to whatever you want but we should be very careful that we do not like over smoothen the image if that happens like we lose some of the edge details and that shouldn't happen so we have to be very careful while choosing the value for this sigma and the second step after smoothening is it now now we come to the edge detection part so after smoothening you have to you know apply apply any of the edge, edge detection filters like the sobel filters or the previt filter so you use any one of them to you know find the gradient magnitude gradient magnitude and gradient direction so once you have found the gradient magnitude and gradient direction now you have to apply non maximum suppression so why is non maximum suppression important and what is it so basically because you have smoothened your image so the chances are like the edges are like not as sharp as they were before so they would be more spread out consider like if this was a circle consider this your circle was like this now after smoothing so your circle would have become much more thicker so something like this so now once you find gradients the gradients will obviously again be like spread out and more thicker so but you want very sharp gradients so that's why you apply something called as non maximum suppression uh, short form is nms that is non maximal suppression so let me take a new sheet and let's explain let's go more in detail in to non maximal suppression let's clear this clean drawings okay so now nms basically what it does is as the name itself says it tries to find the maximum like the pixels with maximum value along the edge direction so basically if, if for example uh, so consider all this are the gradients which were found it's thicker the edges are thicker like the gradients are thicker because you know of of the gaussian filtering which we did so now you have to obtain something like this so what you do basically i change the color so basically what you do is consider this normal to the gradient direction and you try to find like the maximum in this directions so you find the maximum which has the maximum value in this particular line either this pixel or this or this something like that now you just move along the edge direction and now again see whichever is maximum so that's how you can apply you can get like a thinner edge so that's the whole point of nms so that's why you use nms so after you do nms you you apply another concept called as hysteresis thresholding hysteresis hysteresis thresholding so basically we could have used the normal thresholding just based on one of those hysteresis para one of the parameters just thresholding is like it uses tau high and tau low the normal ones the general thresholding they use only one of the 
one of the tows so basically the problem with the general the normal thresholding is like if you set a threshold to a lower value then like the unwanted it just get detected and if you set the thresholding value too high then you would have lost many of the details so you don't want that to happen that's why you something called as hysteresis thresholding the basic idea behind it is there are two kinds of pixels so one is the strong pixels whose gradient values are above a particular you know threshold that's the tau high so you're certain that those kinds of pixels are always present like they always correspond to some edges and then there are some other pixels which are called as v pixels whose threshold like whose gradient magnitude gradient magnitude is below a threshold that is tau low and you know that they are very weak and they are not part of any edges so and you just discard them and there are some other pixels in between these two so those like those intermediate pixels you know some of them can be strong some of them can be weak so we consider those intermediate pixels as strong if they are like very close to the strong pixels which are considered as strong so that's how you know hysteresis thresholding helps and it allows that it gives you a, like a good balance between like not over thresholding and under thresholding so that's why you use a hysteresis threshold so this is like the basic steps behind canny edge detection algorithm so uh, just to recap there are four steps first apply a gaussian filter gaussian filtering next you basically do you find gradient magnitude and direction and next you do nms and next you do hysteresis thresholding so these are the four steps and canny edge detection algorithm and canny edge detection algorithm is one of the most popular and successful edge detection algorithms uh, which has been which which exists even today uh, canny edge detection algorithm is has become so famous because mainly of nms and statistics thresholding that's why it's very successful and also like the code is open source that's another plus point and it's been there for around like 30 years or so like but now like there are learning based al edge detection algorithms which have overtaken canny edge detectors and that they give much better performance but there are various trade offs in using and using the learning based algorithm so uh, i think this is it about like the brief introduction to canny edge detection algorithms thank you